Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosen here. So I wanted to share a marketing thought just to wrap up the week here. Um, and that's this idea of format agnostic content. Now it's something I've talked quite a lot about before, but I wanted to just get across the idea again in maybe a more abbreviated format because I do think it's really something very important for anybody involved in content marketing right now, whether you are content marketing yourself or you're content marketing on behalf of a brand or a business, this is something I think that you should be considering if you're not already doing. Now what I mean by format agnostic content or format agnosticism is this idea that very quickly we're going to be moving towards a reality in which those consuming content, and that includes business content consumers, are going to be much, much more interested in the content, ironically, than where that content is being distributed. They're going to be interested in hearing from brands and influencers that they trust and whose expertise they value and less interested in following a podcast or following a YouTube channel or following a blog. Now, the problem is that a lot of content creators at the moment, including businesses, are still very much wedded to this idea of, well, which channel should we operate? Now, it's definitely true if we're talking about social media marketing that you can't be everywhere, or at least you can't be everywhere and be everywhere well. You have to be selective in terms of where you choose to distribute your content. Nevertheless, what I'm seeing is that at the moment, there is a great moment of opportunity for small businesses um, that don't have huge marketing resources at their disposal to widen out their distribution channels by using what I call some of the tools closing gaps between text, audio, and video. So we have blog posts, we have podcasts, and we have, let's say, YouTube videos. And there are technologies that make it easy to go between what I call the gaps. Now, uh, if you want to do that, you can check out my blog post. I'll put a link to it in the description for this video where I really go through exactly what you can do in each of those spaces. But the main point I want to get across in this short version is just to say that there are tools. And the advantage of using those tools is that you can widen out your channels that if you're currently just attracting an audience on LinkedIn or on Medium, you can also build out an audience on through Spotify or another pod, podcatcher or in video format on YouTube. And when you're doing that, you're basically bringing content to people and making it easier for your readers to consume the content in the way that's most convenient to them. And your final step is to bring all your distribution channels together. So if you're originally posting your content in blog format, embed an audio property, embed a video. If you're originally creating content as video blogs on YouTube or some other video hosting platform, uh, then you can just link off to the text readout of that video or the podcast version. And again, in this blog post, I've talked, gone through all the detail about exactly how to do that. So this is something I think every brand should either be doing or exploring. Tomorrow, it's going to be an expectation. Today, you can get a slight advantage over your competitors if you can get in and do this now. It's not expensive to do this and it's a great use of marketing budget. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to get more videos, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.